Hello, Daniel here with my first ever conversion video. I want to thank you all for joining in to see how I turned this Stormcast Eternal Knight Relictor into the Chaplain Master of Sanctity for my Raven Guard successor chapter, the Raptors. I began by selecting the parts I wanted from the Knight Relictor kit. Um, you'll see here that I have the Black Templar upgrade sprue on my desk. I planned on using one of the hands from it to actually uh, replace the hand of the Relictor that's holding like the Lightning Skull. But as you'll see later on, it didn't really work out. It kind of fit really weird, and the Primaris hands are a little bit bigger than I thought they were going to be. So I ended up not using that. I started by selecting all the parts that I was going to use from the Knight Relictor kit. I ended up using both the front and the back of the bodies, uh, his arm, and his mace. Uh, the main reason I'm keeping the mace instead of like replacing it is I really think it looks good and it makes a very nice Cruzius. Now, one other thing I would use if you're a uh, Space Marine player, or sorry, Space Wolf player, I would take uh, his, one of his shoulder pads because it's actually got this really cool like wolf's skull design on it. Now, after clipping out all those parts, I simply just took uh, my cutters, I cut off any of those sprue connectors till they were roughly flat, and then went ahead and cleaned off all the mold lines. After cleaning off the mold lines, I went about actually removing all the iconography uh, from the armor that represented the Stormcast Eternal. So I scraped off all the lightning bolts that were on his chest, on his arms, on like the van braces. And then I started to remove the lightning bolts and the hammer from his like uh, little cloth that hangs between his legs. I ended up actually just completely clipping that off, making sure to leave all the connection points so I could put the model together properly. But I just completely removed it and my plan was just to uh, replace it with green stuff.
Now after cleaning off everything and assembling the body pretty much how the instruction says, I took and I blue, st uh, blue tacked him down to the top of the pill bottle lid, that way it'd be a little bit easier to work with. And then I took and rolled up two equal parts of the yellow and blue from the green stuff. Uh, once you roll it up, uh, it's better to lay it flatten it out a little bit and then allow it to cure for about an hour, that way it works a little bit easier. Now for the parts, I selected the Mark III shoulder pads from the Mark III Horus Heresy kit. I picked up one of the Sterngard Veteran power packs because I felt like the older style would kind of match the armor that we're going for here. I ended up picking the Reaver's Skull Helmet to give it that nice chaplain look. And then I just took one of the holsters with the uh, pouch attached to it from one of the Intercessor kits. As far for the purity seals and like the icons, I just took a bunch of random bits that I had from a bunch of the kits left over. Uh, the one piece that I did use that was really specific was the little belt thing that had the metal box on it and the bone hanging from it. That was actually the uh, waist part for an aggressor. So once I had the green stuff and it cured for an hour, I actually used a butane bottle something that was flat and round to roll out the green stuff. I placed it on some plastic wrap, put some water on it, folded it over, and then rolled it out as flat as I could. In reality, I wish I would have gotten a little flatter and it would have saved me a little bit of time on the green stuff sculpting, but in the end, it ended up working out. Once I had my green stuff flattened out, I simply took and cut it to the lengths and the widths that I thought I would need. And then I kept bringing it back and forth, uh, checking the fit against the actual model itself. Uh, you'll see in the end, I ended up making it a little bit short. I tried to do some tears on the bottom off camera and it ended up looking really bad and kind of stretched out the green stuff. So I cut it a little bit short, but I actually like how it turned out. Now, after letting the green stuff cure for 24 hours, I went about setting the uh, 
Mark III shoulder pads onto them. I'd use super glue so the arms are a little bit small for these shoulder pads. So you're going to have to use some gel super glue. That way it's a little bit thicker. Uh, you're going to put a dot on the actual shoulder itself. And then you're going to run a little bit of the super glue around the lip of the shoulder pad. That way when you set it down, it actually gets a nice bond. After that, I used some normal plastic glue to attach the Reaver's skull helmet. Um, it was a little bit finicky because the fit is really tight on this thing because the neck is a lot smaller because it's not meant to have this big a helmet in it. Um, you can trim it up a little bit, which is what I did previously. I didn't actually record that part, but I trimmed it up just a little bit so it fit better. And then I just kind of adjusted the head until I got into a position I liked. After that, I attached the power pack using that gel super glue again. Now, the one thing I was really happy about is this Firstborn Space Marine power pack fit really well against the back of the Stormcast Eternal model. Like, it fit really well. And then after that, I simply went ahead and super glued the holster and the mag pouch uh, to his left thigh. Once I got all those main parts on, the shoulder pads, the helmet, and the pack, uh, he really starts to like look like an actual Space Marine. Beforehand, he kind of just looked like some random knight, uh, but now he's actually looking like a Space Marine. Now, once you have all that, we're going to move on to actually adding all his iconography and like the purity seals. I ended up clipping up the aggressor's like uh, relic belt that hangs. I ended up clipping it up a little bit and just making it just the box and the bones. And I had it coming off this little box that hangs on the front of the uh, chaplain himself after that i went about putting the purity seals wherever i felt necessary i didn't want to make him look too busy so i didn't just kind of slap them everywhere i put them in very select spots Now with the chaplain pretty much done, it's time to start working on his base. Uh, what I did here was I just would place some super glue down, put down a layer of cork, uh, flatten and make sure it sticks smooth. The super glue dries really fast because it absorbs really well into this cork, so you don't have to wait like a long time to start working with it. I kept stacking them on top of each other trying to make a plateau so that way he could be standing above everyone else. As I said, this process went really fast. Once I had all the uh, cork exactly where I wanted it, I just took my tweezers and started ripping it off to make a more natural like rock shape. And then I finished it up off camera, but once you see like pretty much what I've done, it's really easy to copy and you can just do it on your own.
here's the final reveal. I'm really happy with the way this guy came out. And I want to thank all of you for just tuning in and actually watching this video. I really appreciate it. This is my first one, so hopefully I have a lot more coming. And I hope this was uh, really cool and interesting and you actually take something away from this. And hopefully I'll have a lot more videos on the way.